This is a lovely story, I have to say, because Brenda was telling me all about it earlier in the week. Ty Broderick is with Irish Air Compressors. Morning, Ty. Uh, good morning, Neil. How are you? Thanks for getting in touch. Now, you were getting in touch because you heard us talking about old characters and old times and a bit of nostalgia. And you had an amazing character who dropped into the to the shop. Uh, um, you're in Little no, Island near the going. NCT, aren't you? That's right. We're down next to the NCT centre. Uh, we have a pneumatics and the compressor business down here. But um, it's funny because with the NCT centre at the moment, um, they're not all allowed cram into their waiting room. So you see a lot of people hanging around outside. And as the weather gets a little bit cooler or a bit wetter, they all seem to develop an interest in air compressors and pneumatics where it's nice and warm. You know? <laughs> all of a sudden they want a big, well, like a big yeah. pneumatic drill or something, is it? Yeah, yeah, that kind of thing. They browse around, but they give themselves away because they never arrive with a car. There's never a car pulls up outside. It's always just someone on foot, you know? So your but, heart was yeah. touched and you were made uh, laugh by a fantastic 87-year-old gentleman who dropped in. Oh, uh, he, he was pure cork gold. Um, it was Mark, uh, one of our service engineers, was in the shop at the time and he... Um, he asked me, he said, geez, you have to check the CCTV system. There's a, there's a guy came in and he's absolutely stellar. <laughs> so he did. And you, you don't see the likes of these guys anymore. I remember them from when I worked behind the bar in Douglas years ago. You'd see all the old characters. But uh, no, this guy came in, uh, fit as a fiddle now. And uh, he looked straight at Mark and he said, uh, uh, I, I know songs, he said, over 200 years old, he said. <laughs> You know, and so this is I, a character uh, just rocks in with a mask yeah, yeah. on him, leaning against the yeah. counter kind of thing. Yes, he found a counter. <laughs> you know, he found a <laughs> counter, even though all the pubs are closed. And it's, it's about the same height as well. <laughs> but uh, pure gold. Um, he, yeah, he, he said, I have 30 songs in my head, he said, and I can stand here and sing for an hour and a half, you know. <laughs> um, and he said, I, I'm out seven days and seven nights, he said. And he's he, the same guy now, and we never got his name, but... He goes to nursing homes three to four times uh, a week and he said they can't get enough of him, you know. <laughs> so um, he was saying that um, singing is a great therapy, he said. All I do, he said, is work, drive and sing. <laughs> so um, so with that anyway, Mark was just doing up, uh, he bought some little thing in the shop, but um, Mark was just doing up his bill. Next thing, out, out he bell, full vocals, not, nothing wrong with this man's lungs. Bells out, there's, only, there's always me by Elvis. Full song inside the shop, you know. There's and, uh, always me. <laughs> and, he gave, and he gave it Holly. I tell you one thing, there's nothing wrong with this man's lungs, you know. <laughs> but uh, in fairness, no, Mark too would love, that would be right up his street too, listening to that, you know. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and uh, it, 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 basically, uh, we're trying to track him down. Uh, we're, we're doing a little bit of building work here at the moment, so I couldn't see his face. But I'm trying to track him down because I have a little few things from there behind the counter, you know? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You couldn't see his face because of the mask and all that kind of thing. The mask and everything else. But I tell you one thing, he'd be absolute fantastic now if you could get this character. I'd radio, love to chat know? with him because from what you're describing. Yeah. And wasn't he kind of talking about, um, you know, people watching too much television and he oh, he, he hates the he mobile was. phone and all this kind of stuff? He was. He has no interest in the internet. He was saying he is... Uh, he said the way we are now, he said, is that um, everyone's looking at screens and at, by the age of 50, they're all so-and-so. And, so and, so. and, he, said, and he said, I hate friends. And he, well, he's referring to his Alzheimer's. He said, friends, I hate friends that, uh, he said, they're, he said uh, they're all effing dead now. And, he said, <laughs> some of, and some of them had Alzheimer's, he said. And these guys had big, powerful jobs in big factories. And he named off a few of the places where they worked, you know. But pure... Um, and, and I suppose he was yeah. alluding to the fact that a lot of their jobs had stress in them and, and deadlines and... You know, yeah, yeah. You know. This guy, I, I'd love to know where this guy worked because I'd say he was a great character all through the years, you know. But absolutely fit out. I think I got it, um, Neil, that his wife of 60 years died about six years ago. Um, but um, so he hated being at home and he's out seven nights and seven days. <laughs> and he drives around the place and he goes, he goes to Spins, to Yall and Dungarvan and uh, <laughs> just, uh, to occupy the mind, you know. But it, it's a nice man. And do you, do you know if... He um, is local. Like I mean, he clearly is from Cork. I imagine oh, I haven't yeah. heard his accent or anything, but he he could well be listening. For instance, I mean, ah, uh, uh, well, if he's listening, he needs to come back here and and collect his uh, collect his spies there behind the counter. I live a nice uh, few things there for him. You, you didn't know? get a Christian name or anything like that. No, got nothing. Got nothing. But did uh, he say anything about the the year? Did was he philosophizing about coronavirus or anything? No. <laughs> 
<laughs> he did, Neil. <laughs> I'm not sure I should tell you what he said about he coronavirus. Probably, did he say it was a cod, is it? Even yeah, if you want, yeah, in, in a different <laughs> manner. Yes, he was implying that it was. Uh, he he kind of um, he sounded out Mark first in kind of a what do you think of all this coronavirus, and he he got a half a comment out of Mark, and that just set him off. Oh him. yeah, he's cute. So he's crabbed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he got the lie of the land first. He, okay, he did, so we're looking yeah, for an, a man. How do you know his age? I'm fa- is it a, I'm eighty seven years of age, and I can sing for an hour and a half. I yeah, I'm eighty seven years of age. I know songs that are over two hundred years old. I said, I know one song that's 240 years old. And, and he said, I, could, I have 30 songs in my head at all times. I could stand here and sing for an hour and a half. He so, said, you wouldn't get it in the opera house, he said. Somebody's telling me it wasn't Elvis Presley at all that sang that song, There's Always Me. It was actually Dickie Rock. <laughs> oh, <laughs> maybe, was it? Maybe both yeah. of them did it. I'm open to correction yeah, yeah. on that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, let's. Yeah. this was Tuesday. Into yeah. into last your Tuesday shop, week. Irish Air. Oh, last Tuesday week, Irish yeah. Air compressors in that would be the Little Island Commercial Centre, wouldn't it? Jim, yeah, we're next to the NCT Centre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. down Euro Business Park. That man uh, currently on the radio talking about the elderly man. The man he's referring to is my grandfather that sings in the nursing home. So we're, we're well, we're we're starting uh, to get a little bit more information regarding this chap. So that's a good start. Yes. We're, we're got, we're, that was a text. We'll just call that text to now and see if we can track down that gentleman for you. Yeah, you have to track him down. He's pure gold, this guy, like, you know. Uh, people will see what I'm talking about if you can get him on the airways. No better boy. No better boy. Hold, hold on. Hold on a second. Hold on. Kian. Yeah. Kian, can you turn the radio down there in the background if you don't mind? This should uh, tip people off. Sometimes there's feedback. So just turn that down and I'll be able to chat with you. Yeah. Oh, no. Kian. Is that your granddad? It is. Are you sure? 100% certain. What makes you certain? We sent him down there for paths for us last week <laughs> and he goes down there regularly. <laughs> <laughs> He's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. What, what yeah. did you need? A part for what? A pump or something? A compressor. <laughs> a compressor. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you, be able to, would you be able to track him down for me? Clearly you would. I would. Yeah. Is he a character? There's nobody like him. <laughs> he's fantastic. He's not joking. He's absolutely brilliant. Okay, he's because, himself, you know? because Tig and the lads here want to give him a few gifts. Oh, brilliant. Uh, he brightened up our day. You don't see that inside an engineering company. At all for and and, and, and Kian, does he go around singing in nursing homes all the time, is it? Yeah, he went before the lockdown came in. He regularly went to a lot of nursing homes and... He sang for, he say he knows, I don't know, I, like he said, I don't know, he says all the time, he knows 30 songs off the top of his head. But he goes, every week he goes out to my nan's grave, and there's a couple of people up in the graveyard that come out as well. And he sings, I don't know, four or five right. songs up there every Sunday as well. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? That's a great story. I'm so glad you picked up the phone. Um, do, 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 he, does he, he, he kind of still works then, he's working for you guys, is it, at 87? He's the, he's the driver, is he? He's a, like, he's, one, he's a kind of person now that if you ask him to do something, he'll go anywhere for you. So he's sharp as a pin and fresh as a daisy at 87 years of age. Yeah, and he tells everyone all the time how old he is. It? <laughs> he's dead right. <laughs> he should be singing it from the rafters. All right, Kian, will you ever have a chat with him, see how he's fixed? All right. We, we were just with him 10 minutes ago. All right, well, you better tell him that we're talking about him on the radio and we'd love to catch up with him. Do, could I ask you his name? Would that be uh, too much to ask? It's uh, Dennis O'Callaghan. The great Dennis O'Callaghan. So, Tig. Yes, sir. We're putting pieces to the jigsaw puzzle for you. Uh, you, you, you. If you get to chat with this character, he's fantastic. All right, he really well, is. It'd be yes. good to catch up with Dennis. Let's see if we can make it happen. I'll be back to you, Tig, all right? Well, dear, just as I'm on, dear, could I, could I just thank the, the, the staff that we have here, Neil? We have a great bunch of guys on the compressed air store and, little, and Irish air compressors. I'd like to thank him for all they've done uh, in the past and wish him all very happy new year, uh, happy Christmas and Fair happy play. new year. Okay, let's and send to all of our customers, of course, over the last 22 Fair years. Fair play to you. Let's send a couple of pizza vouchers your way and you can have a pizza party there with some hot piping oak fire pizza, all right? Thanks very much, Neil. Appreciate okay, it. I'll be back thank to you, though, Tiger. I will be back to you. Listen, Kian, appreciate you coming, uh, making touch. Delighted to hear that it's your granddad. Can you give him a bell for me? I will. I'll ring him. He'd be, he'd be happy to talk to you anyway. He'd be happy to... 